minorities, or they're going to be rounded up too. Don't forget, Christ says nation shall be against nation. Read. Armed forces, American armed forces, are spread around the world. And a breakout of war abroad means fewer troops at home to handle the emergency. And you know, we, we're fighting everywhere right now. There's wars. We, 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 we're war everywhere. So because there's so many wars, we don't have none of our people to protect us who understand war. Read. Local law enforcement officials must contain the emergency until help arrives. So you're going to have your local enforcement which is your police, they're going to try to control things until the forces arrive. Go ahead. Though it may mean fighting a superior force, New York City, for example, has a 25,000 man police force, but there are about 1 million minority members of the city. This has tripled since then. But it's still, the minorities outnumber the forces uh, astronomically. But now, through what happened with Katrina, not only do you have your local forces in place, you have your federal and state forces all working together in the cities now. Right now. Read. We are confident that the minority would hold any city it took for only a few hours. And based on their training, they know even if the minorities snap out, they got a pro program in place that they can control minorities in two hours. Read. The lack of weapons, facilities, logistics, all put the minority at a, at a final disadvantage. Because we have a lack of things compared to what they have. You don't have uh, uh, programs in the white neighborhood saying toys for guns. They know that we don't have the resources to fight. Read. Since the Korean War, this department has shifted minority members of the armed forces to areas where combat is most likely to occur. So if a black man joined the army, or an Hispanic join the army, there's a greater chance they're going directly to war. Immediately, they're going to be shipped to another country. So in case something happens here, they cannot use those skills to protect their people. Read. With the aim of eliminating through combat as many combat trained military servicemen as possible. Today, the ratio of, of minority member combat deaths in Vietnam, where, where, they, are, where they are serving as advisors, is twice as high as the minority population ratio to the rest of America. Below is the timetable for King Alfred as tentatively suggested by the, the JCCS who recommended that the operation be made over a period of eight hours. So in eight hours they're able to get this whole thing in control. Let's see what happened in each hour. The first hour, what happens? Local police and minority leaders in action to head off the emergency. What's the second hour? Countdown to eight hours begins at the moment the president determines the emergency to be national, coordinated, of long duration. Okay, now it's going to show you now. Once the president say, okay, it's martial law, what happens? Uh, county police join local police. You have your county police join the local police against the people, read. The state police join country and local police. County and local police. Now you got the state county, and the city all together in numbers against the minorities. Read. Federal marshals join state, county, and local forces. And you got your federal marshals in there. Read. National guards federalized health and readiness. And we already know that the national guards already have been signed to use national guards within the borders. First time it have ever been signed within the country. But they can actually use military against the people. Just been signed a couple of weeks ago. Read. Regular armed forces alerted, take up positions, minority troops divided and detained, along with all white sympathizers under guard. So if there's white people that don't like what they're about to do to minorities, they'll be detained too. Read. All minority leaders, national and local, detained. President addresses minority on radio television, gives it, gives it out, gives it one hour to end the emergency. So he's, the first hour, he would give everyone a chance. Say, listen, y'all need to stop right now because we have everything in place. If the black leaders can't control things, then get them out of the way. King Alfred plan is implemented. Eventually, people are detained, and you're going up in the FEMA trains. 500,000 coffins. Let me see if I can find it here real quick. I'm going to show you. 
Yeah, read the back part for me. 10. All units under regional commands enter the emergency. The last hour. Command, Command hour. report. Go ahead. Survey shows that during a 60 year period, pr production created 9, 9 million objects or 1.500,000 each year. Production could not dispose of the containers which provided a bottleneck. However, that was almost 20 years ago. We suggest that vaporization techniques be employed to overcome the production problem in, in, in inherent in King Alfred. Mm. The Zero Committee report is referring to the problems that occurred in Nazi Germany when the furnaces were not, were not hot enough to burn the bodies that Hitler had killed. The bodies clogged up the furnaces, thereby causing a problem that the above committee recommends avoiding by building high volume nuclear powered incinerators that burn 5,000 degrees. So you're going to find out what they're about to do to people. <clears throat> they got these plastic coffins that can, be, that can roll on conveyor belts and burn people quickly. They got 500,000 of these coffins. I'm looking for them so I can show you real, real quick on here. I'm going to show you right here. I think I have it right here. As a matter of fact, I want you to see it. A brother I know in Georgia take them for me. Y'all can look at it right here. Y'all can all come and check it out. This is a brother I know in Georgia that wants to take this. Make it big. Okay. So is the gov so in other right words, the government been hiding this from the people per se? Absolutely. For for years for, for, and centuries? No, for, for, for tens of years. For what? For tens of years. For a long time. Uh, These are coffee stacked up. I'm sorry. Let me see. Let me get the sound. This is video everybody can access. You can access this. These are stacks and stacks of coffins just waiting in Georgia. You go on YouTube. 500,000 of them. Y'all can go on YouTube and see this stuff. And this is on a military facility you look at here. A brother I know, when we talked down in Georgia, he didn't believe what I was saying, so I told him where it was at. He would have took his camera out and taped it. Look, right there. What's the search screen? And it's just along the road like it's nothing. Look. They got them stacked up. And they got these, the way they hooked up, they got these tracks where they can go on a conveyor, conveyor belt and be slid right into the oven. So I'm assuming that they're dead in these coffins. No, these coffins are waiting for the emergency. They got them stacked up just waiting until the emergency. Look, look at them. No, I guess... Your daddy needs or these are detaining coffins. These are coffins that will that for dead bodies. for the dead bodies that will be gassed in the train. That's what you meant, that they will be put in the base and they burn a lot. These kind of bodies are not here. So in other words, the government had in a plan for all of this. Yes. Now listen, he's driving by. Now look at it. I turn up the sound so you can hear it. 